Hello foodies! Welcome to Whippin' in the Kitchen with Noni. Today we are going to be not baking but we'll be making bake free cheesecakes. Little cute mini ones. Oh! Hope you guys are excited. I love a cheesecake. All my friends will tell you I love cheesecake. Cheesecake here, cheesecake here, cheesecake there, everywhere. Just cheesecake. Mm. Are you excited? Are you ready? Go wash your hands. 20 seconds now. Make sure they're clean. Clean up your kitchen because we're about to get a little crazy in here. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our supply list. First, you're going to need a muffin pan to store your lovely cheesecake in, whatever choice of cooking spray. You're also going to need a big bowl to whisk your cheesecake mixture in. You'll also need one package of cream cheese brought to room temperature. So it can be nice and soft and easy to um, whisk it together. You're also gonna need one fourth a cup of Greek yogurt or regular yogurt, whatever you prefer. You are going to need a half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Next off, you're going to need some vanilla extract, but only a teaspoon. Next off, you're going to need a pinch of salt. You are going to need about three tablespoons of any non-salted butter of your choice. Next off, you're going to need a tablespoon and a half worth of honey. And last but certainly not least, you are going to need one cup of crushed graham cracker or cookie of your choice. So I've seen people do it with Oreos. Um, I've seen people do it with, what's another good cookie? Ooh, Chips Ahoy. You can do with any cookie you like, but personally you can't go wrong with a classic graham cracker. So that is all our ingredients. Oh, and of course you need a whisk. Alrighty, so first off, you're gonna take your muffin pan and you're gonna spray the insides so nothing sticks. Alrighty, so next, we are going to have our crust made. So if you haven't already, crush up those graham crackers as finely as possible. And then we are gonna form our crust with our three tablespoons of butter. So you're gonna pour it in and then mix till it's been fully combined. Like so. Once we put our crust in, I'll tell you about our cool quiz for the day. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but you see how smooth and compact it's becoming when I press these uh, pieces together? That's our butter being, <laughs> being the glue, the, you know, the adhesive to really you know, make our crust. So let's bring it over. Next off, you should put about two tablespoons in each kind of cubby, and then you're gonna press down. All right, so for your cool quiz, when was cheesecake made? Or when was it founded? Or when did it come to be? You know, well, that's our question for today. So was it created? Two million years ago, was it created 230 AD? Was it created in the early 1700s? Or was it created in 1932? So I'm going to press down, bringing it together still. 
I want to make sure it's a, as compact as possible. See, look at that. That's so cool. And it's delicious. So I'll come back when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I'm about to put this in the freezer so it'll have some time to firm up. Now, once I do that, we will work on our filling. Alrighty, so I have my bowl ready. I'm going to open now the package of my cream cheese. And it should be super soft by now. It's been sitting out for a good minute so I can catch to room temperature. And we're gonna let it drop. <laughs> and next we are going to kind of whisk out or spoon out our yogurt. So I'm gonna use both methods today. I'm gonna pre-whisk, then I'm going to full-fledged hand mix our mixture, or rather our filling. I'm gonna add my lemon juice. Make sure you have a visible eye enough to see where your seeds are and then pluck them out. <laughs> and we're gonna continue on. Next, we are going to add about one and a half tablespoons of honey. Just look at that, yum. That is, that looks so good. <laughs> Here's one tablespoon. And let's pour out a half. Great. All right, let's see what's next. I think we're gonna add in our pinch of salt and our vanilla your pinch on Boop. <laughs> and then we need about one teaspoon of vanilla extract nice <laughs> all right and i believe that's everything what i like to do to make sure that i'm not losing mixture inside the whisk i'll show you like so so you see it's already super duper soft and you see where all the mixture is it's in here, right? I just like to do a little tap and then you'll slowly see your ingredients, your filling fall out. And then you just keep stirring in, keep stirring and stirring. So I'm gonna speed this up with my hand mixture, but this is all you gotta do. Just keep tapping until your mixture comes out. We don't wanna waste any bits of our lovely mixture. Alrighty guys, so I have finished hand mixing and it should look just as smooth. So I'm gonna get the rest of this um, mixture off and then we're gonna put it in our pan. Alrighty, now for the best part, we're gonna be putting our filling into our crust. Make sure you do one dollop at a time until you get all the way through and then repeat it. To get the edges of these cheesecakes together, and try to make them as smooth as possible. It was suggested online that if you want to smooth it out in such a small, small little mini cheesecake, you wet your wet some, some of your fingers with some water, and then you smooth it out. So having your fingers wet will not cause it to stick, but rather just help move the material around. So try to make sure you um, keep your hands very well. Alrighty guys, so I have finished setting up my cups. 
I will now kind of wipe the edges so nothing is crazy when I'm trying to take it out and I have too much mixture on this side. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna put it in the freezer for about, they say 15 to 20 minutes, but just to be safe, I'm gonna leave it in for an hour. And then I'll show you my finished product. See you then. Alrighty everyone, so I've done it. I just took out my cheesecake bites out, or minis rather, out of the freezer and I'm going to plate one right now. It took me a minute to pry it and pry it out, but it is ready. Look at that, that is so cute. <laughs> this is the finished product. And I even put some blueberries on top just to kind of decorate and to give a little variety. So there's a couple each. So guys, wasn't that so fun to make? And two, we didn't have to use any heat. That you can do easily. As long as you have some cream cheese and some yogurt with you, you can make it happen. <laughs> So let's get to the answer for our cool quiz. The answer was 2.30 AD. Who oh, no. knew? Isn't that amazing? Cheesecake, my beloved cheesecake. It's been around for a long time, guys. Cheesecake has gone down through the ages and has put smiles on everybody's faces, including mine and my stomach. It's so very happy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Have a great, fabulous day and I will see you next time. Bye foodies.